Committee, member of the President's Fiscal Commission. Fred Barnes has a piece which everyone should read in the Weekly Standard this week. Calls your roadmap the most important proposal in domestic policy since Reagan's supply-side economics. That's pretty high uh, praise. Yeah, yeah, that is. Uh, I don't really know what to say about that. Uh, what I decided to do uh, when I became the head of the Budget Committee for Republicans is put out a plan that does three things. Pays off the debt, fulfills the mission of health and retirement security, and gets this economy growing and makes it ultra-competitive in the 21st century global economy. The CBO has certified the things I've said. It is a plan to have higher living standards, higher economic growth, it fulfills the mission of health and retirement security, and it does actually pay off the debt. And I purpose for putting this plan out there, you can go to AmericanRoadmap.org if you want to see all of the details on it. The purpose was to show that it's not too late for America to get it back, to get its growth back. And so what I would say is two things are in front of us. We're sort of at that proverbial fork in the road. Do we want the American idea where we reclaim you know, liberty, freedom, free enterprise, self-determination, the principles that built this country, yep. and get that American idea back, that entrepreneurial economy, or do we want to go down this path of a cradle-to-grave social welfare state, which I would argue the current administration in Congress is taking us down. That's the choice we have before, before us, and it's really a difference between a prosperity plan or an austerity plan. Do you get ahead of the debt crisis now, get it taken care of? What I do is I grandfather 55 and above into the current program, so there's no change for people in and near retirement. Yeah. You don't, you don't fix this soon, you can't keep those kinds of promises. What happens to a 54-year-old? So a 54-year-old, you, you have predictable changes ahead of you, so the three of us, with Medicare, you know, you'll have a, a program that works just like the one I have as a member of Congress, the Federal Employer Benefit Plan. So you'll have a system where you have a retirement set up like I have as a thrift savings plan for Social Security, like I have as a government worker, I, that's technically what I am, uh, where, with my retirement for health care. And so what we can show you is gradual changes for younger people that are predictable, but more importantly, sustainable. CBO is certified that my plan makes Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security solvent pays off that national debt. And, and if you do that, you will get us on the path toward prosperity. If you don't do that, then it's austerity. Raising taxes on the economy now, cutting benefits for seniors currently. But right. wa walk me through, if I'm someone, let's say, who's 50 years old, what, what kind of changes can I expect as to what I thought so, or had been promised to this point I was going you'll, to get? You'll get what you were already promised, what you've already made on Social Security. Okay. When it comes to Medicare, you will get a payment that will, that will be equal to the current Medicare per person payment. If you're low income, you get more. If you're sick, you get even more. If you're wealthy, you don't get as much. Mm -hmm. And then you take that payment to pick among a list of Medicare certified plans for your health care benefit, just like federal workers do when they select their health care plans. There have been liberal groups that have looked at the plan mm -hmm. and said that it reduces revenues by $2 trillion and, and raises taxes on all but the top 10% of earners. Do they have this right? No, that, that's actually Citizens not quite Citizens for tax justice? No. <laughs> yeah, Citizens for tax justice. No, I'm no, saying, their numbers. I, I'm very groups. familiar with their methodology. Right completely disagree with it. What I say is if you want to have a postcard size tax reform with 10% on the first hundred grand, 25% above that, a flat tax basically, you can choose that. If you want to keep with the current code, you can choose that. I would get rid of the corporate income tax system. It's, it's a real growth killer and replace it with a basic consumption tax, eight and a half percent, border adjustable, immediate expensing. It means if you want to invest in America, that's the place you want to keep your money. Instead of having other countries, the haven for capital formation, let's make it America and turn the job spigot back on. It's a growth agenda. It gets ahead of the debt crisis. We'll talk about the politics behind it later on, because Barnes raises some points, too, sure. about the risks. Legitimate points, yeah. too. Yeah. All right, we've got the trade deficit right after.